Here we are. Hello, Facebook. I hope you are connected and YouTube. Sorry, we had a few technical issues earlier, but hopefully that has connected and hopefully our connectivity will survive. How is everybody doing? Hope everyone is having a calm and happy Wellbeing Wednesday. So it's been a lot going on here. You may have seen there's just been so much chat about lots and lots and lots of different things. Um, I've got lots of questions here that have come through. So thank you very much, Amy, for manning Facebook as usual. Very nice to have you watching. And uh, as usual, Amy will pop all the links to anything that I talk about over on Facebook. And we've got them up on Instagram, of course. If you're new to Instagram, you're very welcome. You will find them in my bio if you go to the little blue line that says Linktree and click on that. And that opens up links to all sorts of things, including podcasts. And that is a really good thing because we've got a brand new podcast episode going out later today with none other than the amazing Andrea McLean. You'll know her from TV fame. She's the main anchor on Loose Women and she's written a lot about menopause and she's been very open actually about all her personal experiences and all the different struggles that she's had. And she's got a brilliant new book out where she talks about some of the really personal things that led her to have such a crisis and a basically massive anxiety attack after doing her incredible series uh, when she joined Special Forces and she went off and did all sorts of extraordinary things down in South America. Anyway, I podcasted with her not long ago and we recorded a really intimate and very, very personal discussion. And she's just brilliant. You know, she and I, we used to work together years and years ago at GMTV back in the early days. That's when I first met her. And she's just really struck me as somebody who is so open and so honest about talking about things and she's great so it's a really really good listen so if you are a podcast aficionado then Amy maybe you will pop a link or maybe it's not quite live just yet but it will be coming out later on today so it's a really good one last week of course last Wednesday because Wednesday is the day when my main podcast get released there was a really good episode with Ruby Wax did you watch her talking about the positives the positives in life and her new book is called And Now for the Good News. And she has been such an amazing mental health advocate. And again, talking about anxiety, especially so many of us feel so much more anxious at the moment. And she started this great organization called the Frazzled Cafes. Have you heard about these? And these are online cafes that they've been doing. They started off in real life. And then of course, since lockdown, they've gone virtually. And you can join online and anybody who is feeling just a bit frazzled and a bit overwhelmed can join. And it was really wonderful to meet Ruby Wax in the flesh. We recorded at a very safe social distance. And again, she was just very open and about, you know, very sharing the highs and lows. And I think that's the good thing, isn't it? That a lot of the good stuff that comes out on social media and about communities, especially like this, this one here, because we have our own as our well-being community here, is it's just trying to share positive things and to see the positive in things. And, you know, yes, of course, things go wrong. And yes, we are living in challenging times. And yes, people make mistakes or get things wrong or whatever. But actually, there is a lot to celebrate. And I think trying to see the good in things is a really positive way of being. And certainly these two ladies, Andrea and Ruby, are prime examples of that. So they are well worth a listen. And of course, last Friday, I did a little Friday Five podcast with Professor Michael Baum, talking, as this is the month, October, of breast cancer awareness, talking about some really interesting developments. One particularly is the use of intraoperative radiotherapy for breast cancer surgery. So that's where you have a little pellet of radioactivity inserted at the time of surgery, rather than going through the days of uh, daily radiotherapy, which has to happen now after surgery so often. And he also talks about the myths surrounding oestrogen um, and breast cancer. And that was a really, again, a really interesting listen, a much shorter one. My Friday ones are always much shorter than the longer episodes that come out on a Wednesday, but really well worth a listen. So, Something else that happened this week, uh, which you may have seen on my Instagram, if you are following me on Instagram, that's all you on Facebook, and I know a lot of you guys watching on Instagram will have seen me post about this. And this was the brand new issue of Hello Magazine. And this is just 
I mean, I was amazed actually to see how much coverage it got because if you open up the magazine, those of you who've actually got the, the printed copy, um, it just has lots and lots in here. Uh, talking about li life and times, very glamorous pictures, I have to say, of some of my lovely children. We don't always look like that down on the farm, I can tell you. Um, but it was just, just give you a quick little overview. These are some of the pictures here. And it was just, it was just a really, really nice day with the team from Hello. And talking about some of the things, I've tried to talk about positivity, actually. Again, um, I'll just show you one of the headlines in here. Yeah, practicing gratitude, it talks about, you know, and that's a really important thing, isn't it? I've talked about that before. And that how that helps us with resilience and well-being, just to be thankful, even if, it's just for the fact that we're breathing or that we can see or that, you know, we can go for a walk or that something around us is good, being thankful. So in the feature, it's, of course, more than just hopefully pretty pictures. I do talk about some of the highs and lows. And those of you who know me from this regular Instagram and Facebook Live will know that there are highs and lows and it's very easy isn't it in life is just to kind of focus on what we think is the good stuff and, and hide away the bad stuff but yeah they you know there are challenges and I've written about them of course in my magazine as well some of the personal things that I'm going through but also I talk about Lily and about her mast cell activation disorder and this is something that we explored a lot during lockdown. So she has had very, very bad migraine, as you know, for the last couple of years and so much so that she's not been able to work, really incapacitating and has tried so many things, you know, you name it, we've tried it, she's tried it. And it's still a journey, you know, she's still not out of the woods yet, but we are making progress. And one of the things that we've talked about before is the role of histamine and how that can impact on these mast cells, which are part of our immune system. So mast cells are cells that can go into overdrive and they can be triggered by things like histamine intolerance. And we recorded a really interesting podcast together with a doctor called Dr. Tina Piers. And she has become a real expert in histamine intolerance and mast cells. And it appears through doing lots more research, and I know that there's a lot online at the moment, I know on Instagram there's a great follow that you might want to add to your list, which is the Menopause Consultancy with Dr. Tina Piers, talking about histamine and oestrogen and the link, and particularly for midlife women, particularly during perimenopause and menopause, when our oestrogen levels fluctuate so much, um, that is a time when we can become more intolerant to histamine and some of the symptoms like migraine, for example, can become so much worse during that time of our life. So if that's somebody that is affecting you or somebody you know, do please share it because there's simple things you can do. In fact, the National Migraine Centre has started in some cases to recommend taking an antihistamine and I think it's cetrazine, which is the one that they recommend combined with a low histamine diet. And we've got a whole piece actually on lizardwellbeing.com if you want to take a look at that, talking all about the role of histamine. And there's a Swiss clinic where they do a lot of research into histamine forming foods, because unbelievably some of the foods that we think are the healthiest are actually high in histamine. Now for the most of us, that's not gonna be a problem. So things like avocados, for example, are high in histamine spinach and tomatoes, anything fermented. Now, you know me, I'm often talking about kefir and the importance of having, you know, kefir and fermented foods. Well, you know, they are beneficial for most of us, but if you are histamine sensitive, then they're not so good because they're gonna make it worse. So it is something that's worth experimenting with. You can download, there's a really good feature that we've done online, uh, which is all about histamine how it works in the body, what histamine sensitivity is all about and how you can go on a low histamine diet if you want to. And even identifying some of the probiotics because some of the probiotic supplements that you might want to take are high in histamine or can activate histamine. But there are others that are safe if you're histamine sensitive. So again, we've got a whole list of that. I know, Amy, I can see that you're going to put um, a link up to that because it is so incredibly useful. Now, other things that I have found really useful and I just wanted to share with you today, we have got a new contributor for the Lizard Wellbeing magazine. If you've got your copy here, you would have seen the brilliant Alice Hart Davis, who is just amazing. 
So Alice Hart Davis, I've known for a long, long time. She's a really well-respected journalist. And she writes a lot about what she calls tweakments uh, and all sorts of high-tech advances in skincare and all sorts of things, actually. In this particular issue, she writes about hair loss. I'm just going to try and find it here um, because the health and beauty features in the magazine, I think, are just going from strength to strength. I know a lot of you buy it for the recipes, but um, the health and beauty sections are really, really good. So where are we? Here we go. Salon Secrets, page 20. So this, Alice has been looking at what happens uh, with hair loss and some of the treatments, the more high-tech medical treatments that really do seem to work. They are just showing real promise. And Alice, I'm really delighted to say, is going to be a regular fixture in the magazine. And she's just written a piece, actually, for the next issue, which will come out at the beginning of November. So if you haven't yet got your subscription, well worth subscribing, because please remember, we are not available in the shops at the moment. It's just subscription only for the foreseeable future. If you want your subscription copy, just to say there is a brilliant subscription offer, so don't miss it because it's going really quickly. This is where you get a month's supply of the Super Me, which is the great supplement from Life Armour and also their little sample of Slumber Drops to help us all sleep, which is great. I love Super Me. It's got lots of magnesium in it, which is a really important mineral for our health and for our immune system. Also ashwagandha, which I've talked about before, which is the adaptogenic herb, which can help us to deal with stress. And in fact, on Friday, I'm going to be taking a really close look at magnesium. So that's going to be with the nutritionist, uh, Emma, uh, and she is going to be with me live, hopefully doing an IGTV. So I think that would be really interesting because there's lots of chat about magnesium and how it works to support vitamin D and all the other things. Anyway, back to Alice. I had this little box arrive and it has got in it, it says in here, discover what really works. Okay, so what is going to really work in here? Ta-da, well done, Alice. It's a copy of her brand new book and it's called Start With Skincare. And it says on here, what you really need to know about looking after your skin by Alice Hart Davis. And it's great, I mean, look, it's just packed full of information, as you would expect from a proper proper journalist. Lots and lots and lots of information, lots of great reviews already, and lots of nice endorsements from people that she's put at the front here. I think I've even got a little line in there. Yep, there we go. So this is uh, all the people who've endorsed her book, and I have written on here. Alice is one of the leading and most trusted voices in skincare. Yeah, I think she really is. And also some of my other favourite people have written in here. This is Marcia Kilgore, who's the founder of Beauty Pie, who we've also actually got an interview with. If you haven't read it, she, I'll show you a picture of her if you haven't seen what amazing Marcia looks like. She's a really cool woman. So where are we? Where is Marcia? So we've got this new feature, actually, that we're doing as a regular thing in the magazine called Female Founders. So it's looking really behind the scenes at some of the well-being brands. And Marcia, of course, was a natural because she started with Bliss Spa. She then went on and founded Fit Flop, that great shoe brand. She's founded Soap and Glory. And of course, she's founded Beauty Pie. There you go. All about building a brand. Look at her. Really cool. And she has a really, really good take on what it takes to be an entrepreneur and to be a brand founder. And I love everything that she does. So thank you very much, Marcia, for being part of our new series. In fact, you are our opening one for female founders. And we're going to be doing more of this. So it's again, it's just supporting other particularly female founder-led brands. Many of them, of course, we do on Liz Loves. And I have, of course, recorded a podcast with Marcia. So Amy, I don't know whether you can pop a link to that on Facebook, but if you want to hear my podcast with Marcia, which talks about her journey, how she got started, she's a very wise woman. Anyway, so she has written a little endorsement here in Alice's book, and she says, Alice is a fearless, future-forging beauty journalist who covers the world of aesthetics and cosmetics with equal parts expertise and accessibility. Yeah, brilliant. Just so many things. Sally Hughes, who I've also podcasted with, um, she's also written an endorsement here. Joe Fairley, good friend of mine who co-founded Green and Blacks, amazing chocolate brand, and is the joint editor of Beauty Bible, another really, really good beauty website. So um, yeah, well done, Alice. I look forward to getting that. It's just arrived, literally, 
um, but I think you are genius. I really trust your research and your information, and I'm delighted that you're going to be working with us and my team here at Lizard Wellbeing. So just time, I think, for a few quick replies to comments and questions. I'm going to be talking, as I say, more about midlife nutrition, so menopause, what to eat, keeping it low GI, for example, keeping the sugars down, keeping the good fats high, having a special look at magnesium and minerals on Friday. Um, so Safrasan, this comes from Sandy on Instagram. Uh, Safrasan is the supplement that is made by Naked Pharmacy. And saffron is a really interesting ingredient because it's based on the crocus flower and randomized controlled trials have shown that it can be as effective in some cases with anxiety as uh, some of the more pharmaceutical antidepressants. And it's a really interesting extract. And what I love about Naked Pharmacy is that it's founded by a, an old school pharmacist. So somebody who has worked in big pharmaceutical organisations and realised that there were some therapeutic properties from some of the herbs and some of the ingredients that he wanted to use to put into a range of products. And so one of the first products that they created was Safrasun. And I love it, absolutely. It's something that I take a couple of capsules of every morning. And there's a children's version as well, which is really good. So Sandy says, oh, it's currently out of stock. Gosh, it's probably too popular. That's because we've got a Liz Love. So if you want to go and have a look at Naked Pharmacy, everything on their website, you do get a 20% discount, which is really generous. So thank you very much to Naked Pharmacy for that. You need to use Liz Loves 20 for Naked Pharmacy, okay? Usually it's just Liz Loves, but for Naked Pharmacy, it's Liz Loves in capitals 20. Um, and they are getting it back into stock, so it is coming. It's been very popular. I think so many of us, our anxiety levels are just sort of way off the charts, aren't they? And this is a really good one because it combines with vitamin B12, which is also a really interesting nutrient, and it's something that many of us are lacking in our diet and needs to be something. I certainly have to take B12 supplements, even though I eat animal produce and I drink milk and, you know, I have all that, my sort of dairy as well. Um, but B12 is something that I am aware of very definitely. Just before I go, actually, I just wanted to say a couple of questions about what I'm wearing as usual. And this is um, a top from Lavender Hill Company. I love them. And again, it's a really nice British founder led brand, female founder led brand, Isabel in this case. And she's very generously given us 10% of everything on their website and you just need Liz Loves in capitals. And I'll show you just, oh, just some of the detail here. So um, when you get your package from Lavender Hill, it comes in beautiful lavender tissue paper with some little lavender soaps. Isn't that so cute? You know, it's so nice. I think when often when you're working with smaller brands, maybe the more female founder ones, I'm not sure, but there's often that extra little attention to detail that you get just something in the way it's wrapped or packed or something extra that you get with it, which is just so nice to see. So thank you, Isabel. I'm really pleased and proud to support your brand. I know that you've also done amazing work making beautiful cotton face masks. And there's no discount on those, by the way. And the reason is that for every pack that they sell, they also donate a pack to women's refuges and uh, disadvantaged communities in need. So really, really great initiative. So, but one of the things that I do like about them, they manufacture a lot in the UK. And these are their really soft, they use organic cotton, they use eco fibers, so they wash and they wear really, really well. And can you see just the detail, just in the back of the neckline there, you've just got this little soft velvet lavender strip. Isn't that great? You know, they didn't have to be there. But it's just one of those things that makes you think that somebody's gone that extra mile and really cares about their product and what they're doing. So I'm very pleased that you are able to join us, Isabel, with your company and give us that lovely Liz Loves discount code. So thank you. That really is it for today. I am going to be back with you on Friday. I'll be back live, hopefully sharing the screen with Emma, the nutritionist, and we can talk all about the magnesium and the minerals. So if you've got questions on that, do please either pop them through on Facebook or on Instagram here. I don't do direct message, I'm afraid, on Instagram because I just find it too overloading, but I do try and get through as many comments as I can. 
I'm also going to be back tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a new little vlog on YouTube, which will go up on a Thursday. So do head over to the Liz Isle Wellbeing YouTube channel. You might want to subscribe to that because that's just a quick kind of dip in between my Wednesdays and my Fridays live. Friday, obviously, we have our newsletter going out. So there's a cracking one this week. So make sure that you're signed up to the list to get that. That comes out at tea time every Friday. And of course, the Friday Five podcast as well will be with you live on Friday. But do watch out for my new episode Episode. It's the last one in the series, actually, of the Liz Our Wellbeing show, and that will come out later on today, and that's with Andrea McLean, and it is a really gripping listen, and I'm very, very thankful to Andrea for being so open and so generous with her time. Anyway, it's been lovely to chat, and I look forward to being back with you on Friday, sending you lots of love in the meantime. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>